so this video is about mayo cat diaries okay is an, uh, from the name mayo is uh, goes for the muscles okay card for the heart and diitis is for inflammation so it is an inflammation of muscle heart okay so it's an inflammation disease of the myocardium of the heart with wide range of clinical presentations actually okay it range from the subtle manifestations to devastating disease this is myocarditis what are the causes of myocarditis what are the uh, what happens in myocarditis okay the presentation of myocarditis the investigations should be done to diagnose myocarditis the management of myocarditis and the prognosis these are our, our topics in this video okay let's start with the definition okay it's inflammation of the myocardial uh, tissue with necrosis and fibrosis and that actually will result in a serious weakening of the heart muscle okay and that will lead to cardiomegaly and heart failure okay cardiac and respiratory failure sometimes okay so this is the uh, myocardial muscles of the heart it is inflamed as obvious here okay so it's thickened because of this inflame inflammation in late stages there will be dilation of the heart and uh, will be heart, uh, ca cardiomegaly and as uh, the end stage of this disease will be heart failure and respiratory failure sometimes causes of myocarditis can be divided into infectious causes okay and non-infectious causes mostly myocarditis is due to an infection okay what are the most common infection that will cause myocarditis it is viral infection mostly and coxsackie b virus is the most virus to cause myocarditis so it is either infectious or non-infectious and from infectious viral infection is the most important with coxsackie b virus okay what other viruses can cause uh, myocarditis adenovirus for example epstein par virus okay they all can cause myocarditis but just remember the coxsackie b virus also bacterial bacteria can cause myocarditis like diphtheria rectasia okay we have lyme disease do you remember lyme disease borrelia bacteria okay so is sometimes can cause uh, uh, myocarditis also fungal fungi can cause myocarditis protozoa can cause myocarditis uh, Chagase disease is a cause of myocarditis uh, tribosoma uh, cruzi okay do you remember that tribosoma cruzi who causes Chagase disease a cause of myocarditis this is about the infections okay the viral infection the most important coxsackie bacteria infection fungal infection protozoal infection remember lyme disease borrelia Chagas disease, tribosome, nice to remember these things, okay? We have also non infectious causes of myocarditis, maybe idiopathic, and mostly they think that idiopathic myocarditis is mostly due to hidden viral infection, okay? Viral infection. Also, immune mediated myocarditis, like in rheumatic fever for example okay like in kawasaki disease i'm going to talk about kawasaki in details in subsequent video okay so immune things can cause an inflammation in the myocardial muscle cause myocarditis rheumatoid fever and kawasaki okay collagen vascular diseases like rheumatoid arthritis like sle for example and sarcoidosis okay so immune collagen vascular disorders idiopathic very important and we have toxic myocarditis toxic myocarditis due to a drug some drugs can cause myocarditis diphtheria for example toxin of diphtheria can cause myocarditis and excessive uh, alcohol intake okay they all can cause myocarditis. so infectious non-infectious infectious viral bacterial boratella Lyme disease, 
Chagas disease, okay, non-fictitious idiopathic, immune like Kawasaki and rheumatic fever, uh, collagen disorders like uh, SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, sarcoidosis, toxicity from drug, from alcohol, and diphtheria. For example, now let's move to the presentation of myocarditis. Okay, actually, sometimes we may have a history of upper respiratory tract infection that is subsequent by sudden onset of anorexia, vomiting, lethargy, and circulatory shock. Okay, anorexia, vomiting lethargy and circulatory uh, shock they are all non-specific okay may uh, come after upper respiratory tract infection and this is most in newborn and small infants actually in adults uh, a lot of time it may be asymptomatic the myocarditis okay so the presentation of myocarditis depends actually on the patient age and whether it is acute or a chronic myocarditis okay in neonate and infants okay smaller ages we have actually signs of a congestive heart failure sign signs of congestive heart failure mostly sudden congest congestive heart failure so we may have weak pulse okay heart failure we have weak pulse we have a tachycardia that try to compensate the heart failure it may have tachypnea okay gallop rhythm okay gallop rhythm is uh, noticed in myocarditis and this is a summation of s3 and s4 okay we may see cyanosis so the signs of congestive heart failure tachycardia weak pulse tachypnea cyanosis and sudden death may be the first presentation of myocarditis okay in older children also we have signs and symptoms of congestive heart failure but is more gradual in onset okay also you can hear an arrhythmia murmur in uh, older children is soft mostly soft systolic uh, murmur okay don't forget gallop murmur and soft systolic murmur now after the presentation the patient presented to you with anorexia vomiting lethargy okay tachycardia tachypnea weak pulse gallop rhythm sudden death what how to investigate this patient okay how to investigate investigation is toward mostly toward the heart functions okay so we do ecg in myocarditis the most important thing to notice is low qrs voltage low qrs voltage okay so this is the low qrs voltage in myocarditis okay as you can notice so this is the ecg you may also see pr a prolongation or prolongation of cute acuity interval was the most important one is low qrs voltage okay what can we see in chest x-ray as I told you, in, in myocarditis, we will have at the end cardiomegaly. So in chest x-ray, you can see cardiomegaly. Also in echocardiogram, you can see a cardiac enlargement, cardiomegaly. Okay, and left ventricular function will be impaired in a lot of cases, okay, due to uh, this problem. In lab, okay we can see elevated liver uh, heart enzymes i'm sorry myocardial enzymes may be elevated like troponin okay ldh and ck they all may be elevated due to the inflammation so this is the heart the inflammation that happens there will release these things the ldh the ck the troponin they all will be elevated okay the diagnostic test or the confirmative uh, test of myocarditis is to take endomyocardial biopsy endomyocardial biopsy uh, throw a catheter from the femoral vein okay to the vena cava you can take a biopsy and confirm the diagnosis of myocarditis now after you diagnose the myocarditis from ecg uh, the uh, low QRS voltage okay chest x-ray so uh, cardiomegaly echocardiogram 
هاي الهارت انزيمز اوكي والمايوكارديال انزيمز what is the management of myocarditis mostly the management is directed toward two things okay the symptoms of myocardi myocarditis or the symptoms of congestive heart failure and arrhythmias that happen as a result of myocarditis and the, the toe and the management of the underlying cause itself okay so management of underlying cause and management of the heart failure that happens as a result of myocarditis actually high dose of immune gamma globulin shows beneficial effect in myocarditis okay high dose of gamma globulin for heart heart failure we can give diuretics okay anti failure measures like diuretics like inotropins okay inotropins like dopamine sometimes digoxin can be given sometimes but you have to give a great caution because uh, patients with myocarditis may have a great sensitivity uh, toward the digoxin so uh, you have to treat the heart failure with diuretics inotropics and other uh, things okay underlying uh, cause of myocarditis you can treat with gamma globulin infections you can treat the infection if it is diagnosed okay what about the prognosis of the myocarditis actually myocarditis has very bad prognosis mortality rate is high in neonates especially about 75 percent okay the mortality rate the, ma the majority with mild inflammation will recover completely okay the major majority if you have a mild degree myocarditis they will recover completely some patients will develop subacute or chronic uh, uh, myocarditis okay the acute uh, the acute myocarditis will be subacute okay or uh, uh, chronic a uh, chronic okay you, they will have cardiomegaly and sometimes irreversible things so this is all about the myocarditis the definition of myocarditis the causes of myocarditis infectious and non-infectious how the patient presents with myocarditis the heart failure death or the general symptoms for anorexia vomiting lethargy etc the investigations of myocarditis most of them is about the heart ecg chest x-ray echocardiogram lab results for uh, the troponin and myocardial enzymes the confirmative is endomyocardial biopsy and the management of myocarditis for the underlying cause and for the heart failure prognosis again for neonate very bad 75 percent will die okay the majority with modification uh, inflammation will recover some of them will uh, get into a uh, chronic or uh, uh, persistent myocarditis with cardiomegaly. Thank you very much for watching. See you.